First of all, I'd like to thank Ahmed and the PPIA because when we had this idea of having a joint webinar <clears throat> and we reached out to them, they, they accepted instantly. They thought it was a very good idea and we set the whole motion and uh, the process in motion. So thank you, Ahmed. Thank you, Ahmed, also for extending an invitation to OTA, OTA's members to visit Karachi. I'm sure in due course of time, we will uh, plan a visit, a group visit, and come over. I'd like to personally thank all the panelists <clears throat> and the sponsors. And I'll just read out the names of the sponsors. We got Adroit Overseas, Doni & Company, Evertop Commodities, Kanwal Enterprises, Musk Calendar Group, <clears throat> Neha Enterprises, Promising Pulses International, the Saki Group, and Sun Impex International. Thank you so much for your contribution. In terms of takeaways, I think there are two, three points that stand out. Number one is, of course, until the shipping problems are sorted, we're going to have a lot of inconveniences built into the trade. And we'll just try to weather it and uh, you know find the best possible solution. As far as the other issues that were discussed were concerned in terms of the switch BL or the correspondence charges, I think the two associations can put their heads together and find a way to try and mitigate these issues. The other issue we in Myanmar often talk about is uh, finding, you know, we have uh, some very large buyers and when the policies of these large buyers, the government change, then we in Myanmar are at a loss as to how to handle the large production that we have. One way out of this, and I was uh, quite amazed to know that the Kabuli imports into Pakistan are about 275,000 tons. Now, Myanmar grows Kabulis. So this could be a very effective substitute crop that Myanmar can look at to try and reduce the uh, you know, importance of any one large buyer so that in case that buyer has a good production here in their own country, and at least Myanmar is not affected because you have uh, a substitution in place. The, the other point that I would like, uh, which amazed me was uh, Bilal mentioning <clears throat> that green mung beans is a substitute to black mat pay when the price goes from say 800 to $900. I mean, we have uh, both green mung bean as well as uh, black mat pay being grown. Okay, I've taken note of the fact that Mung beans are also grown in Pakistan, but uh, in case the price of black mat pay was to go exceedingly high, then at least uh, we are also in a position to supply green mung beans if that is required. Uh, that said, uh, I don't have any other points to discuss at this point. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening on. We've had a total of 350 people register for this webinar from 25 different countries. And Pradeep tells me that we have over 200 people attending. So thank you so much and uh, wish you a good night. Bye-bye.